this is Tandy Gutierrez, and this is another Pimp Your Mat strengthener. Um, this is more of the sliding work that I love. So if you have a wooden floor or a tile floor or um, you know anything that's smooth that you can slide on, um, you can just use a towel. Okay. Um, but I had some fans get really creative, which I love. And if you have carpet, um, they were using paper plates. Um, I've had people use frisbees. Anything that you can slide with. There are products that they sell that allow you to slide on carpet or a solid floor. Those are great too. But you don't have to buy something in order to do these, and that's what I love about it. The sliding work that I do mimics the work of a Pilates reformer. So on a reformer, it's a piece of apparatus that basically looks like a bed with springs. So you can spring it for resistance and support. On a reformer, the less spring you have, the more work your own body has to do, um, which is the interesting thing about it. So when you're working on a floor with just a slide or a glide thing, um, it's actually a lot of work for your body to do. So there's a couple of responses people have. Either they love it because it's really intense and they totally get it and it's really fun, or it's like, I don't really get it because I haven't made those connections in my body yet. It's basically the same response everybody gives Pilates the first couple times they try it. So what I say to that is just keep trying because the more you do it, the more you'll get it. And the sliding work I just love because it really can up the resistance to things. It's got that gliding motion of a reformer without the price tag of a reformer. Okay? So these that we're starting with, there's just going to be a variation of hundreds. So whatever you're using to slide with, your feet are going to go on top of it. If you're using a mat, okay, you're going to scoot your tailbone to the very, very, very edge. Now I folded my mat over just so I had enough space to show this to you. Okay, but it's your tailbone right at the front of it. Then you're gonna peel and roll down. If you're too like if you're off the mat and you're not using one, that's fine. If you're too far into the center of your mat, when you do your sliding motion, you're gonna miss part of the resistance. Okay? So you wanna be at that very, very, very tippy top edge. You're just gonna start laying down on your back. Okay? And then you're gonna start with the heels as close to your butt as they can be. Now the heels are together and the toes are apart. That's a Pilates V position. Um, don't let the knees hang open and don't squeeze them closed. They're going to be like a bony fist distance apart, so it's pretty narrow, okay? Arms are going to go long down by your side. Take an inhale. Exhale to curl up over the ribs. Sink your belly button away from your clothes and just start your pumping in the arms, okay? So you're going to inhale two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Then you're going to start sliding. You're going to inhale to lengthen the legs out, straight as they'll go. Exhale to keep those heels together and draw them in towards your butt as close as they'll go. Okay, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to draw them in. Okay, the core work here should be pretty clear. Okay, so you're curling up over the ribs. You're scooping your belly button nice and low away from your clothes and you're keeping it there. Then, the gliding portion of it, you should be able to feel your hamstrings. So that's right behind your butt, all the way down behind your knee, okay? And then if you're keeping the knees in that nice narrow position, you may start to get some sensation in the inner thigh, which is great, okay? Keep going. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to drag them in. Inhale to scoop the belly button up underneath the ribs. Exhale to hold it there. One more time. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to squeeze and drag in. Rest and lower down, okay? So those are your hundreds um, with your gliding or your sliding. Thanks again, and that is a Pimp Your Mat Strengthener.